If we now open a basket.php file, which you'll find inside of the classes folder, our basket class, after the public underscore total property, we're going to add a few extra ones, uh, public underscore weight, then we have private underscore array underscore weight, then we have public underscore final shipping underscore type, then public final shipping uh, cost, then we have public again, final sub total, public uh, final VAT, public final total, and the last property will be public user. If we now scroll down to the constructor, in a constructor, we're going to start with the parameter user by default null, and then we check if is an empty user, then this underscore user equals user. Then what we're going to do after the empty basket, we're going to uh, create the if statement is an empty user. So we're checking if the user has been passed through the constructor and then we check sorry it's not going to be this it's actually going to be the property we're checking for the property if is an empty user and then and uh, user country equals country underscore local which basically stores the this constant obviously stores the the id of the country the the business is trading from so if the this basically ch checks whether the uh, logged in user uh, is from the same country or international VAT. If uh, the constant international VAT is set to true, which would mean uh, that we are applying VAT to the purchases outside of the local country. So if this con either the, of these uh, two conditions is true, then what we're going to do, we're going to run this object business, new business, and then VAT rate equals object business get VAT rate. Else, what we're going to do, we're going to set the VAT rate to null. So this underscore VAT rate equals null. And then another thing inside of the constructor after the total here, we're going to call this process method. Okay, now save the file and move to the next video.